So, welcome back. Um, I took a little breather because I had no, <laughs> no idea where this channel was going. Um, basically, I've been seeing all over the internet, um, which is which is probably really old, but I'm just catching up on it. Or I saw recently about Cheetos cookies, and I was then really intrigued because I love Cheetos and I love cookies, and putting them together sounds bizarre, but you know what? <laughs> this is my new segment. I thought I'd try something, don't judge me. <laughs> not sponsored by Cheetos, which would be really cool. By the way, if it looks like I'm on a tilt, it's because my house was built on a tilt. It's not because my camera is this way. It looks like I'm either falling this way. My house is built on an incline, so you're gonna have to deal with that for the next couple of minutes. All right, so first I'm gonna grab my flour. So basically this recipe, do I even have enough flour? If I don't, oh! Do I not have enough flour? Really? I was just downstairs. Well, found the flour. Let's play the game of let's get all the flour in this. No, no, no. <laughs> Wow, we can already tell that this video is going through shiitakes. So the the <laughs> the regular cookie recipe is oh my god, oh my god! I can't believe I just did that. Oh, ah! let's see what actually goes in this. Um, basic, the cookie recipe is my recipe. Okay, now that we've got those over to the side, I didn't even tell you anything that just went in that. Two cups of flour is in here, one teaspoon of baking soda, and a quarter teaspoon of salt, and no sugar, because sugar doesn't go in your dry ingredients. All right, so we got a half a cup of sugar going in there. And now we got light brown sugar. That is hard as a rock. My dog hates me right now. So I have one and a half sticks of butter. Yes, this is my recipe. And yes, that's why these taste so good. And yes, melt it because that's what makes it so much better. Um, all of my recipes I like to make by hand. I'm also making them in stainless steel bowls. So you can't see them. Also, the reason I'm doing this you can't see is because there's clumps in this burnt light brown sugar. The thing I like to do is add one egg, and I mix that in, and I do one egg yolk, because the yolk is what makes the cookies really chewy. Then we have some vanilla. Two teaspoons of vanilla. I'd usually use my own, but you know. I forgot something! Frickin' Cheetos. So we'll do that now before I do anything. So we got a Cheetos. Oh! I love Cheetos when I was younger. And we're just gonna do this. All right, so I'm gonna save this much for later. Um, and then we're gonna just stir that in a little bit. It's gonna have to be this, which is fine, because... Get a cup of those, because why not? And now I'm just gonna add in my wet to my dry. That's added. Now we're gonna fold that in. Where I first saw this, the I think I was saying it before, and I completely just stopped talking about it. Um, was online. I was watching a video of either Shane or Rylan Adams' channel, and they got, got these cookies from this place in Santa Monica called Cookie Good. Um, I've never been there. I also don't live in California, so yeah, there's that.
I don't know what to think of this right now. So I'm gonna pop this into the fridge for about an hour or two, um, just so it can get nice and chilled and it makes the cookies spread out nicer and it keeps their hold a lot better. We're back. So I got my cookie dough. I have a little melon ball, whoa. Melon baller that I use as a cookie scoop. I got my Cheeto crumbs. I got a sheet pan. I got the baking parchment paper. And I have my oven on to 350. So now I'm gonna do, ooh, this is still kind of soft. This should be interesting. So I take two scoopfuls of my dough, squish them together, and I roll it. Roll it. I make them kind of tall because um because I like to let them kind of like. Then I got my Cheeto dust. So I'm gonna take one of my cookies and I'm gonna roll it. Roll it in some Cheeto dust. So we got our last cookie all rolled in the dust. I'm gonna put these in the oven. for about 12 minutes, and then we'll see what they look like when they come out. This should be interesting. Guys, they're done! They're done! I don't have up in minutes. That would have ended horribly. Guys, these look so good! think of it I'm trying to find the Cheeto taste like in the cookie but I mean I taste it but I don't like it's not like overwhelmingly Cheetos you know what I mean it's still good I would give these like a 7 out of 10 I think I mean if you like this video please give it a thumbs up um, comment subscribe to my channel if you want to see me make more weird cookies. I'll see you guys next time. I keep eating them. Bye guys.